Hi everyone. I would like to ask you all are you compromising your health? It may be due to many reasons like your busy schedule or the lockdown which happened due to pandemic COVID-19. You or your family may be already diagnosed with hypertension or diabetes or you are already on the medication. Signs and symptoms was there but you were not able to approach the hospital on time which leads to many complications. You ever experienced like this? Welcome you all to Salengist. Today in this video I would like to talk to you about five healthcare devices which can be easily used at your home without the help of a healthcare professional which will really help you to know what is going on in your body especially for those who need a regular checkup on daily basis or weekly basis. Nowadays among the youngsters even the diabetes and hypertensions are very common due to our lifestyle due to busy schedule we are stopping ourselves moving to the hospital meeting your doctor face to face so if you are able to check our own vital signs or if you are able to check our own blood sugar or blood pressure it is easy to know that when to approach the doctor when to call the doctor when to take the advice from the doctor or even to adjust your dose of your medications So let's see which are the main devices. To capture the video of the home healthcare devices, I have headed to one of the leading pharmacy in Qatar, that is Al Marwa Pharmacy. First, I would tell you that the thermometer. You all know that the body react to the infection by raising the temperature. So when our body raises the temperature, we get the fever. sometime we take time to reach to the hospital especially in the case of the children below the age of 5 raising the temperature be beyond a time it's not at all good for their brain so when you are able to check your temperature at your home itself you can seek the medical advice as soon as possible at least through a telephone so there are different types of thermometers available in the market the one is like mercury thermometer which is very difficult to use so i won't suggest you people to use that if you are not a medical professional the best one i could suggest is a digital thermometer which can be used in your axilla or in the mouth so the error is very less in that digital thermometer even there is different kinds available like infrared th uh, thermometers but it may be show some error so it's the best is the digital thermometer So please try to have one. I done a polling last day who all have the thermometer and only 20 percentage own their own thermometer at home. So I would suggest you to get the thermometer of your own to know what is going on in your body as early as possible to seek the physician advice. The second one is pigmo manometer or BP apparatus. Sometimes you may have a severe headache. you may get fainting. You will think it is due to some some problems like lack of sleep or something like that. but understand that a regular checkup is very important once you are diagnosed with hypertension your doctor may suggest you that go home and change your lifestyle do regular exercise change your diet and maintain and come back after one month it's better you should have a digital bp apparatus your home to check regularly when you are checking your blood pressure make sure that you should be in a relaxed mode in the lying down or in a sitting position don't do soon after doing an exercise because it will show your different values so the blood pressure the hypo or hyper that is increased blood pressure or lowered blood pressure you may not be able to understand what it is some people i have seen that they are making the lime juice with the salt and drinking when they feel tiredness by telling that they have decreased the blood pressure you can't never predict like that so it's better always to have a blood pressure monitoring if you have a elderly people at your home or if you have someone who is already diagnosed with hypertension or if you are already on hypertensive medications the third one is the glucometer glucometer are the devices which is used to check the blood sugar level our blood sugar level random blood sugar level should be monitored regularly especially if you are on diabetic medications insulin or any other medications or when you are first diagnosed with diabetes and your doctor ask you to ch change your lifestyle and come back you should have a regular checkup on this i'm not compelling you to get it but 
just how going to hospital weekly basis or daily basis may find more difficult to you or it's more expensive than earning a good international standard glucometer review. There are many things that you should know before using the glucometer that the strip should not be exposed for long time. It should be in an airtight container. And also before checking the blood sugar, make sure that the machine is with good battery condition. And also the hand should be cleaned and there should not be sugar in the skin before pricking to get the blood. The first drop should be removed and the second drop is the one you are going to check your blood sugar. And the fourth, the weighing scale. Most of the disease conditions are due to the increase in the weight. That is sedentary lifestyle we are, we are following. This will cause increase in our weight, especially in the abdominal region where we are prone more to the hypertension or diabetes or many other disease conditions. Regular monitoring of the weight and knowing yourself that your weight has been increased is very important. Doing some strict exercises for one week and check your weight and you noted that you have reduced 2 to 3 kg. This will motivate you towards a healthy lifestyle and this healthy practice will practiced by your kids even. So a weighing machine is really suggested to your home. Even for your kids, they are underweight or overweight. You can assess with the help of the weighing scale and you can ask the healthcare professional what is the correct weight that's supposed to be at particular age and this will help you to handle that. And the fifth one is the nebulizer. I'm not suggesting you this, everyone should have a nebulizer at home, but you are asthmatic, your mom, or your parents or anyone in your home is asthmatic that is bronchial asthma and on regular nebulizer and I have noted many people were not go able to go to the clinicals or to the hospital to do a nebulization especially due to this COVID-19 or pandemic situation if you own your own nebulizer it will help you to do the nebulization without delay at home and it's like a life saving but make sure the medication that you should use and the dose, everything, you should confirm with your physician according to the prescription and you could seek their advice of the medical professional before using that. Now we can see what are the important things we should know before we buy a home healthcare device. We should know that it is having the international standards. That is, it is of a good brand. We don't want to play with our life, our health. So an important thing we have to monitor is it have the logo of the international standards in that or ISO standards. And also when you buy the healthcare devices to home, make sure you will talk with the retailer regarding its guarantee and warranty. Even you can check its function at the time itself and you can seek the help of a medical professional how to use it in the initial stage. It's very important that you should read the whole the brochure which is available with that which will have all the details how to use, what to do and what not to do. And storing these healthcare devices is very important. You should follow the brochure which is available uh, along with your box of the devices. So this will mention that you should not keep in the extreme heat or extreme cold which will affect the, affect the functioning of the device. And also make sure, especially in the case of thermometer, you will use the thermometer, but clean it properly with the alcohol wipe and keep it, keep it safely for the next use because the whole family member may be using the same one. In the case of the glucometer, the chart you should check always because low battery will cause the wrong result, same in the case of the BP apparatus. Nebulizer. When you're using the nebulizer, the mask should not be shared. You should have the different mask for the different family member if two or three family member are using some same nebulizer. So make sure that we don't want to compromise our health. We don't know stress or no busy schedule should keep us away from checking our health regularly, checking our health, not only our health, our family members health. 
and also make sure those who need regular checkup or those who need weekly basis do it at your home but this doesn't mean that you should be away from your hospital this will just help you when to rush to the hospital or when to go to the physician or when to call the physician because you will be able to identify thank you so much for watching i hope this video is useful to you all see you in the next video don't forget to give your valuable comments in my comment box See you, bye-bye.